Welcome to Total Access. I'm Elliot Holman and I'm joined by Sigala and Ella Rare. Hey guys. Hi. How are you doing? I don't know which camera to look at, so I'm just going to look at you. There's quite a few. Look at all of them. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've not seen you guys since our crazy trip to Ibiza. Sigala, thank you for that. That My was um, for an experience, shall I say? Yeah. And it was an experience. It was a good one, right? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> um, this, I think we should clear something up before we before we go forward because yeah. I don't remember a lot about yeah. it. I know you don't particularly, Ella. Yeah, it all went any, so quickly. Any memories? I've got a pretty good idea, but I don't remember it from photographic memory. It's yeah. just... As long as I didn't embarrass myself, as long as you're not sitting there thinking, God, do you remember what he was like? Oh, yeah, do you remember that thing? I don't did? think anybody remembers anything, which I think is so a we're plus, fine. really. Yeah. Do you we're remember the tracks I played? I remember them. Oh, well, that's that's good. Because I recorded them. Did you leak <gasps> them online? I've put them all over the internet. Yeah, I thought someone had. <laughs> have you seen, like... Yeah? Yes. Yeah, oh, have, oh really? Got yeah. Oh, it actually wasn't me. But I swear yeah. that was the point, though. Uh, Create yeah, a I buzz. So. I guess. No, I should have leaked more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, I've not seen you since that. So, um, first of all, you made that happen. Like, you literally made that happen. You took us out there. Sagala Airways was a pretty nice way to fly, I'll be honest it with you. Fun, <laughs> it? it was all right. I, I must admit, I quite enjoyed being given champagne at 10 a.m. in the morning yeah. with that massive invoice the, at the, the end of it. The flight was, like, rowdy by the end. Yeah. yeah. By the time we touched down, I think we were just ready to hit the strip and yeah. just go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and I had a really nice room. I came. I, I I looked like a bit of a. I I I checked in, and I was like, oh, "This room's really nice. Like this is huge." I walked back down to reception to meet everyone else. I was like, "How good are those rooms?" Like, and they were just like, um, "Ours ours are just sort of average." I thought I'd look after you, mate. You know. <laughs> so thanks for looking after me. <laughs> <you. laughs> um, Ella, you're definitely hanging out with the right people. Apparently so. Yeah, I get free trips to Thailand, Ibiza. What's next? Where are we going next? Uh, where do you want to go? Is your call? LA. Oh, we're going oh. there anyway. Oh, there you go. I mean, Total Access was obviously the highlight. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, totally. Um, you went home the other day. I say home because it's my home as well. Yeah, my back to home. back to Norwich and uh, and then performed a show at, at Sundown. Yeah. How was that? How was the family? Did they get to see much? Uh, not enough to be honest. So they jumped at the opportunity to come to a show, and uh, it's always nice doing like a home show, and I don't do them enough. So. Um, it was really sweet, man. I got my whole family up on stage. I at saw the your end. granddad. My granddad, eight, like eighty-four legend. years old. Like he, w he didn't want to get off the stage. Like I had to drag him off, literally. Um, we we went to um, to Ibiza purely so that we could get um, an idea of, of what this new album is going to sound like. I, I honestly, and I, and I mean this, I really haven't been this excited for a debut album in so long. Thanks, man. The tracks that we heard, and, and Ella will back me up because I'm sure she's heard probably even more of the album than I have. She wrote I wrote of most of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the, the tracks that I heard, I just wanted to go and tell everyone. And I've not had that feeling in so long. Mm. I oh, think that's really sweet. when you hear new music, and, and it, for me it was just frustrating because and probably even more so for you is that it's, it was so long away. I think yeah, we still had yeah. like four months to go. Yeah. And I just wanted to go and tell everyone. I was like, wait till you hear yeah, this yeah. album. So you guys must just be sat there like proud as punch. Yeah, it's it's amazing to hear that, man. Thank you very much. And Ellie, you've had a massive part of it as well. Uh, let's yeah. not let's not play it down. Well, no, it's just because it's nice because it's um out of all the people, like there's been so many people, so many amazing people involved in the album, like. But Ella's obviously had a very big part in it as well. We've yeah, done it's a lot of, lot of stuff together. It's been nice sort of seeing the process because I've known you for a really long time before you were Sagala. Um, so it's like been a really exciting thing to see come together and then to be a part of that and for Bruce to want me to be a part of that is cool. And uh, I think, yeah, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of it. Aww. It's not my album, but I'm proud of it. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. I um <laughs> I, I have to clear something up with, with you as well, Ella. Here so we the the event was streamed on your um, <laughs> socials. Yeah, yeah. Now, never ever go to a party that's being streamed live. Never I don't do that. Think people realise it's being streamed as well. I was really. I had no idea, so that's news to me. I Good was being know. really well behaved. <laughs> so I, all I was doing was getting really excited because I was loving these tunes, and I was just like taking pictures and filming and. Um, I got some good boomerangs. I sent you a couple of boomerangs as yeah. well. Now, my family, and more specifically my girlfriend, fiance now, she um, <laughs> messaged me and she was like, been spending a lot of time stood next to Ella Rare. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a good time? Like, Ella's, you're still next to Ella Rare. Everything all right? 
<laughs> she's still there. Uh, Ella, would you just like to uh, close something up to I the I would camera? like to clarify that I actually don't remember us being stood next to you <laughs> That's all. not going to help. No, no I, well, it does not. I don't remember being stood next to you. So it, it can't have been for any other reason than just coincidence. So uh, you're good. You're all right. In all seriousness, I was stood next to you um, when... The, the first time that I heard Just Got Paid, which is this new track. Uh, and you were like dead excited because everyone was hearing it. I was like, okay, well, this is a tune. <laughs> and everybody was was loving this track. So let's talk about this because yeah. um, presumably you guys have been sitting on this for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, we actually had it when when we released Came Here For Love. Yeah. Like, knew you were going to say same, that. Around the same time. So it was only a matter of time before we... Uh, released it mm. um, so yeah it's, it's great to finally get it out so talk to me about obviously came here for love I don't know the stats I don't need to know <coughs> the stats because it's huge I've played it on the radio probably 300 times <laughs> genuinely and good it, it was Thanks, it was one of the biggest tracks of the year and still sounds great I'm pretty sure we played it last night so we don't need to talk about the stats it, it was huge at what point did you then do this one and were you like okay this is on a level with came here for love because I think it is I think we knew from the first day, really. I did anyway. Actually, no, you didn't like it at first, but it was very. Oh. Yeah, but it was. It wasn't finished. I liked the yeah, where we were going with it, but it, it, we didn't have that that little. Yeah, no, factor. yeah, it, it sort of came to life gradually, and um, it started in Thailand. But I think we knew before Came Here for Love came out, and it just made us even more excited to do, especially after Came Here for Love did so well. It was like, okay, we need to top it, and we know they just got paid. You know is as exciting as a song we think anyway, but we wanted to to incorporate some other people. And so I was really keen to have a girl on it just because I've never collaborated with a girl before. So it was a great opportunity to do that. Megan's got the most amazing character and personality. So she added the perfect amount of, of sass to the record. And <laughs> then obviously there's French on it as well. So it feels different. You know, we wanted to progress from, from Kim If I Love. I, um, I want to talk about Megan Trainer briefly. Have you seen her bling? Have you seen her engagement ring? <laughs> It is huge. Yeah. Like is it? It, Go on, is, girl. it is huge. Like I didn't know anything about wedding uh, engagement rings until recently mm. when I was just bewildered going into a shop going, like, <laughs> I don't know what I want. That looks quite nice. Is um, it the bigger the better? Is that the vibe? Like apparently. Most things yeah. in life, mate. Um <laughs> she hers is huge. Yeah. And I don't want to know how much it costs because like it's way beyond what I could ever I afford. bet she rocks it. She will show everyone. Mm. I walked in. She was like, "Look what happened since wow. I last saw." You. <laughs> Love it. And and French as well. Um, I th I feel like this is another. This is something totally different. Like we talked about, came here for love. It's really cool to have him on the record as well, making it sound something totally different. Yeah, mm. totally, man. And how do you how do you choose? How do these things happen? You guys are good mates, but how do you yeah. just go? I'm gonna get Megan Trainer and, and French on this as well. Um, I mean, there was like lots of different options and, and people that we had in mind. Yeah. Um, but there was only like the tune is 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 very kind of a specific kind of sound. There's only so many people that would really be able to pull it off, and it's very tongue in cheek. It's like not a very serious song. Like a lot of rappers are very serious. Yeah. Like French Montana is a bit more like light hearted and like you know a bit, bit more fun and willing to like do something that's um that's that's just a fun record. Uh, so that was a big part of it, really. Um, I know uh, there's a lot of collabs on the album. They're all yeah. still secret, aren't they? A lot of them are. A lot of them aren't. Can we talk about any of them or not? Uh, are yeah, a secret? Sure. I thought all they everyone knew now. A um, few of them. Like, I don't want to get into trouble. I'm scared. Well, what do you know? Well, Just do it, the man. The Vamps like, is out there because that's gone out. Yeah, Vamps is. So I heard, a, I heard a Newman. He's already no. on it. Well, give me your loves on it. So he's on it, but there's not a... No, I know I, the, I know which track you're thinking though. There's somebody whose voice is like has a similar kind of vibe. Okay, but it's, not, it's not Newman. Okay, uh, even Ella looks confused. Who sounds like John Newman? Uh, this American guy. He, I mean, I don't think he does. But somebody else said, "Oh, is that another oh, one with John Newman?" Did I hear Flo Rider? Yeah. Talk to me about Flo Rider, because that's pretty big. Uh, yeah, that's been really fun. That's a collab. With Sean Frank, uh, yeah. who I'm a massive fan of, he's an American producer DJ. Um, we collaborated on it, and yeah, Flo Rida's on, on the track as well. See, this this is just because I was there like a fangirl <laughs> in Ibiza. Were you video. trying to hear? Because yeah. I didn't obviously like talk about who was on the tracks. So I just was playing. Them. Yeah, and I was just trying to recognise voices. Yeah. Well, you've done. I'm still trying to think about. You've done who a you're terrible job so far. <laughs> I can't figure it's it out. It's on the Brighter Days track. I don't even think you know who it is. It's it's um. Did I write that one? No. <laughs> yeah, you did. 
Oh, no, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> New Skydive. Anyway, what people, one, yeah. what people need to know is that from what I've heard, and, and obviously mm. Ella's backing me up here massively, this album is just going to be huge. You know who's got the most hype is Kylie Minogue. Yeah! Like, yeah. Ever since like, I, I mentioned I was working with her, I've been just bombarded by her fans, just like, we need the track now, and everything I release... They just go mad at me. They're like, "Why is like, this not the Kylie song?" Cool, but like, where's the Kylie one? I, on. I have seen that on on comments and stuff. Yeah. So when you're working with Kylie Minogue, when you're when you're Sagala, like you're pretty grounded, man. You're you're just like, yeah. yeah, that song did all right. You're working with Kylie Minogue. How does that come about? What's it like? She's What's the experience? So She's really down to earth, like really sweet. Um, yeah, it was a really easy going experience. Obviously, like. I I really wanted her on the track and she wanted to be on the track so it was it was easy. <laughs> you must be at the point where you're literally turning people down now. Uh no, no. Really? Just Anyone? keep them co- album two. I, d- I need some more ideas. <laughs> like I'm running out of people to collaborate with. There's only so many people. I'm pretty sure everyone we have on the show would want to collaborate with Sigala, so Okay, sweet. <laughs> I'll just keep lining them up for you. 